bismuth crystals. Here's a nice larger example. Uncrystallized bismuth is a silver white color. But crystallized, it has a rainbow sheen from the, a thin layer of oxides, kind of like the peacock coal I collect in my other videos. But this is almost always man-made in a laboratory. I do not know if there are natural examples of it. I have heard that it does not occur in nature, but never say never. Bismuth, um, it's used in a couple applications commercially. This is one of the ingredients in Pepto Bismol. Not the crystals, but bismuth is in Pepto Bismol. It's also in some cosmetics. Well, my friend that sells at Gem Shows, this seems to, to get the most questions on it, so I figured I'd do a short little video on it. It's made in, I know the, the this one was probably made in a lab, I think in Germany, but there are a couple labs around the world that make it. And you can also make it in your own home. I, I, uh, I've seen a couple people dab, dabbling in, uh, in making bismuth crystals. The formations kind of remind me of a hopper effect, like that happens on on the quartz crystals I collect in my in some of my videos. Hoppering, I guess you call it. But this happens when these form when molten bismuth cools. That's how these form. Let's get, let's get a little side view of it. But if they do occur in nature, Someone comment and let me know of where an example would be, because I could not find one. Could not find one that occurs naturally. We'd figure if, it, if a volcanic tube hit it, it could.